with you guys. Um, so today I'm not doing a reaction video, not doing anything like that. I'm going to be going over some serious topics. So if you don't like serious things based on my channel, you can skip this, but I really do encourage you to go and listen all the way through. I'm going to be talking about a lot of controversial things that have been happening lately in the media, um, and stuff like that stemming from Asian hate crimes. So I really do encourage that you do watch this video. If you don't want to though, just because it, I know it is a very sensitive topic, then you can skip it and wait for my next upload, but I really do encourage you to watch it because I think that it's very important you do, and this is a topic that you should be aware of and not avoid. So to begin, I'm just going to say this first. Um, this has been going around for the past month or so. Asians recently in the media have been getting a lot of hate. There's been a lot of hate crimes, uh, sightings, as well as videos, footage of Asians getting beat up by white people and tons of racists, oppressors, and even some other form of minorities. And it's very painful. I'm going to be going over some of the things that I have witnessed and the things that I feel about this subject. So we have the oppression and hate crimes towards Asian people that are on the media right now, so that's first. And all of it is obviously stemming from the uh, origination from the coronavirus, which happened all the way back in uh, like early February slash March of 2020. It's something that people have put in the media recently as the reason of why the coronavirus spread. And I'm going to explain why you can and can't blame China. You can blame China in the sense of this virus spreading. Yes, I, that's 100% you can. Because I said, yeah, it's kind of their fault that they let the virus spread. But... You cannot blame them for the fact that they do not have the proper health care, insurance, and medical services that America, as well as other countries, can provide their citizens. You can't blame that. Due to the government being still, a vast amount of it being communist-based, they are still not letting their citizens have any sort of freedom or any sort of, you know, stability in life. A lot of it is very up and down. There's a fat margin of how you live healthy in China and how you live unhealthy in China. There's no middle ground or in-between sort of place. It's either you're poor or you're rich, and it's very, it's very, very apparent. Due to there being such a vast amount of poverty as well as you know just overall issues with china as a whole it's very difficult for its citizens to feel safe as well as healthy and stable both mentally physically and financially it's very difficult for them like everyone wants to say that it's china it's chinese people's fault of reason why the spread it's yes and no. Yes in the sense that, you know, they had the virus and they went outside the country and decided to and, you know, not, you know, uh, you know, you know, you know, not intentionally but unintentionally spread it to other people. That part you can say yes. That's 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 okay. That's fine by me. But what you cannot blame them for is the fact that they intentionally caused this virus to spread they wanted the virus to spread no that's not the reason it was 100 intentional and they couldn't do anything about the spread of the virus they couldn't contain it they couldn't do anything of the sorts due to the government lacking in terms of you know providing proper care for their citizens a lot of people in china don't live healthy lives and if you look at the general aspect of china yes it has very good nature spots but also at the same time it's dealing with the most polluted country in the world you have to deal with child labor sweatshops and you have to deal with a lot of people who are literally dying there's a real good reason of how this virus spread and that is ultimately just due to china not receiving the best healthcare for their citizens. Things like pandemics and things like that, like what we're in right now is stemmed from China, but it is not entirely China's fault. It is the Chinese government's fault, but it has nothing to do with Chinese people wanting to spread the virus. Morals and ethics and stuff like that are all different around the world. But at the end of the day, there are certain things that people as a whole do not want. Why would Chinese people want to spread the virus? If America got it, would we want to spread the virus to everybody? No. So why is it any different from there? You ask these smart questions and then you really think about it. If we were the origin spot for the virus, do you think that we would intentionally spread it to everybody that we knew across the world? No. So why would Chinese people do that? Why would they? We would probably get the virus the same as they got it and unintentionally spread it to people. So, so why is there a hate towards Asians for this? 
if we were the origin spot for the virus, do you really think that we would want to spread it? You can write your answer down in the comments below. That's it. And also, social media does not help in the sense of taking the fact that Asians are the reason for the coronavirus spreading. Social media doesn't help that at all. Social media is literally influencing the fact that Asians are the main reason as to how the coronavirus originated slash spread. That is 100% the blame of how there's Asian hate crimes as of right now. Oh, it even stems for like, like hate crimes stemming towards black people. It's the same thing. It's all social media. All the internet has done for us is a lot of hurt. There are enjoyments, I would say, for the internet. There are tons of enjoyments, but those are for, obviously, the actual positive people. The negative people always just take it out on social media. Everybody always stems from social media for negativity. I have never stemmed that low on the internet to make a hate crime, to make racist jokes. I have never stemmed that deep or low on the internet. I have never and I don't want to ever and if I ever do in my life then I should probably just kill myself just because like it, it's 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 not something that I would ever imagine myself doing. It, it's it's social media is really the reason of why I feel like Americans are hating so much on Asian people and it doesn't help the fact that our past president literally called the coronavirus the China virus. It doesn't help when your own country's leader calls a virus based on the origination point of the virus. It doesn't help. It doesn't help. And I've had to face a lot of, like, not hate crime, but I've had to face a lot of discrimination and a lot of racism in my life. Not to the stem of, like, certain people around the world that I know have stemmed from like worse and things like that. But if you're a minority living in America, you have faced some sort of discrimination, oppression, racism, some things like that. Some people have unfortunately been involved in hate crimes. And if you are an Asian, Black, Latino, Hispanic, you are considered a minority automatically once you step foot in America. Actually, I'm pretty sure as a whole. But anyways, it's mainly an issue in America. I don't hear too many issues with involving Asians in other parts besides America. And really, America is its own enemy in the sense that it really just hates all the people within its country. It's, it's so stupid and it's so dumb. And this is why international people and foreigners look at Americans as retarded. Okay, that might have not been the best of words, but I, I'm just very, very, very frustrated right now, so sorry if I say anything like that, but like, very dumb. They think Americans are stupid. This is the reason why. We're literally our own enemy. Fuck, we had a war against our own people called the Civil War based on racism slash slavery. It's stupid. A concept that we inherited, made it our own, and our own problem, we had a war over it based on the north and south points of our country. We had a entire war, and the concepts of that war are still going on in the country today. That all stems from racism, which is the second thing I want to get into. Racism exists, people. If you don't think racism exists, literally look back at what I just said. We had an entire war that stemmed from racism, which is based on blacks enslaved by whites. It's called the Civil War, the American Civil War. Everybody in history, or U.S. history, has heard about it. Everybody outside of America has even heard about it. If you don't think racism exists and you're a minority, hell, if you, even if you're a white person, there is a entire war. An entire war that we stemmed based on racism. I don't know what else to tell you. If you don't think racism exists, then fuck. You've had a really good fucking life. But it does exist dumbass. It's very stupid if you think that racism doesn't exist because it exists. I faced through it. I have tons of friends that have faced through it. There is a reason why that most if not all my friends are either Asian based or other types of minorities. There is a reason why because I feel like minorities right now really have to stick together which goes into what I want to talk about next, which is why other forms of minorities are hurting Asians. There was a crime recently hating towards Asians where a black guy beat up an Asian woman. Why? Why is this okay? And there were other reports and stuff like that of other black people hurting Asians. Dude, wh I don't understand. It's so stupid. Why is another group of people stemming from minorities hurting another form of minorities? Why? Why are black people hurting Asian people? 
We're in the same group, man. We're in the same line of racism, discrimination, oppression that you have had to face. Yeah, it might have not been preached as much. Yeah, it might not have been as bad as you guys, but we still face it. That doesn't make us any different. Just because that we can get through the, the racial stuff and discrimination a lot easier than you guys can doesn't mean that we don't face it. Now I feel like we are facing the same thing because there has been tons of people have been beaten up. There's been tons of people killed. There has been tons of Asian people's property. Things that are very personal to us that have been attacked and destroyed due to the influence of social media. And it's just, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. I understand if a white person hates an Asian person because that's typical fucking racism in America. That's typical. A white person hating a minority is typical fucking racism. But why the fuck is another minority hurting another minority? You are literally causing a civil war now against minorities. And now we have black people actually protesting against Asian people about their lives mattering when people think that black lives are going to be the still main reason of they matter. They still matter. Black lives still do matter. I'm not saying they don't now. No one's saying they don't. But just because you guys don't get your voice in the media doesn't mean that you guys don't matter. You guys have mattered ever since whenever it mattered, which is forever. Back when MLK was around, black lives still mattered. It still mattered. They still matter today. They still matter today with me and tons of my friends. But now you're giving Asian people hate because all we gotta say is Asian lives matter? Why are you giving us hate? If you really are hating on an Asian person and you are a minority, then you really must not think you're a minority. There's something very wrong with you if you think that way. I want you to take a look at yourself and say, and my minority do i fall in these categories i understand there's a lot more categories to minorities but if you fall in the line of anything that is considered a minority really think about yourself why am i hating on another minority why is it just because they're not the same as me is it because they're not black is it because they're not hispanic or latino or asian what's the reason why why are you doing that you're literally causing another civil war but instead of it being whites against blacks it's literally blacks against asians or whatever against asians it doesn't matter you're literally causing another civil war man i don't understand why there are minorities now literally hating on asians we fall in the same fucking group like I said, I understand if it's all just white people hating on Asians. That makes sense whenever my mom came to America. That fucking makes sense. What doesn't make sense is the fact that minorities, the shit that we are considered, is hating on us. You should be standing with us. And I understand there's tons of people on social media that have been defending Asians because we have given this country so much influence in the past decade in terms of culture, in terms of culture shock, and in terms of influence. There is no doubt in my mind that one of you people have had Asian culture in life. Obviously, I mean, this channel is literally based on K-pop and Asian culture itself. But in the sense of your own daily life, you've had Japanese food, you've had Korean food, you've had Chinese food, Thai, Viet, you know, Filipino food, you've had you've had those things. You've had things. I don't care if it's American based. I don't give a shit if it's not authentic or if it is authentic. You've had some sort of Asian influence on you in your life and you enjoy it. You enjoy it. You enjoy Japanese people's anime, but why do you hate on them? Why do you hate on them if you enjoy it so much? It makes no sense now. I don't get it. I have never felt racist towards anybody in my life other than hate towards white people that love to oppress minorities or love to discriminate. Those are the only times I've ever hated a different race. It's because it's very evident whenever you face discrimination. That's the only time I've hated on another race. I have not hated on a race due to their color. I have not hated on the race due to their ethics. I have not hated on a race due to their influences. I have never hated them. I love all races. I'm not racist. I love them all. I accept them all. I have to unfortunately remain in America, live here with my life, and somehow live comfortably as well as uncomfortably knowing that Right now, I am in a great home. I have a loving family. I have friends that I dear, that I hold dear to my heart that, you know, obviously live in America. They literally live five minutes away from me. But I also have to feel uncomfortable with the sense that will they be in danger of encountering Asian hate crimes? Will they have to, you know, risk their lives just to go outside and, you know, feel like a normal human being? Or will the media literally take over everyone and all Asian people will be dead? I don't know. I really don't.
I don't, I obviously, I don't hope that's the case. I really don't understand why there are Asian hate crimes based on not only racism, but literally social media influence. This is the problem with social media. People use it for positive things, obviously for protests, fundraising, charity events. I understand that. But that's only less than 10% of what the people on the internet actually use the internet for. People who are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, hell, fucking even MySpace. Twit- like, I don't know if I said Twitter. Twitter, Snapchat, all any type of forms of social media that you know of, 90%, more than 90% of those people use that as a platform to hate. There's more m negativity on social media than there is positivity. Any person who's gone on social media, it's true. Think of one time that someone actually genuinely said something that was nice, that was majority compared to the negativity. There's not a whole lot. You know, I can't say for myself that I've had a lot of negativity because people who have come to my channel have been very positive and stuff like that, which I'm very thankful for. But like I said, all that positivity is a fraction compared to all the negativity that happens on social media. I'm not saying that I've gotten it, but I'm saying for everybody else that has experienced negativity on social media, that's what they go through. That's what it is. It's a uh, majority of it is negativity. A lot of people criticize. A lot of people, like, are literally racist on the internet. I really think it's social media's influence that has based upon these Asian hate crimes. A good amount of it is still racism. I'm not saying that it's not, you know, it's, oh, it's all social media and racism for Asians right now. It doesn't exist. No, fuck that. It, a lot of it is fucking racism, but a lot of it's a, a ton of social media influence. Think about how much the media has put, like, Asian plus coronavirus. Think about how many times you've seen that. I'm gonna say this right now. This is, like, I'm gonna end this pretty soon. But if you like anything associated with Asians, like Japanese manga, anime, or, like, you know, Chinese food, as well as, you know, dramas from there, or Korean culture, like, food, music, dramas, clothing... All that shit. If you love anything, I'm not gonna obviously. I you know I obviously said I obviously said the very generic Asians like Japanese, Korean, Chinese, and stuff like that. But I'm gonna say this for Asia as a whole. My Indonesian fans, my Filipino fans, you know anyone stemming from Asia. If you hate Asian people so much, take the culture that we have given you fucks out of your life. And see how fucking miserable your life is. Not only the things that you enjoy happiness for, but also the things that you have in possession that are made or produced from Asia. I'm pretty sure if none of you guys had any products or any Asian influence on you right now, you would not have 90% of the things that you fucking have in your house. Your clothing, your devices, hell, even your fucking car. Would you, would you, would you really have things would you really have a lot of the things that you have now if it wasn't for asian people think of how many things that asian people make that americans import think about how many if you took all that away if you took any kind of Asian influence or products out of the picture of being imported to america america would literally still be like it was back in like you know the 18 1700s it literally looked like that if we didn't import shit so often we would literally look like fucking caveman to Asian culture. Even though we already do, literally the margin would be here to here rather than it be here. It'd be a lot fucking worse. Like, if you guys know Dr. Stone, that anime, which is fire, if you guys know that anime, watch it. That's literally what America would be compared to Asia. That's literally what Americans would look like. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And I am sick of it. I am so done. And I unfortunately have to sit here knowing I'm an Asian American who hates being an Asian American just because there's American in there. I really do wish I was a fresh off the boat type Asian. I really wish I was a foreigner just so that I cannot relate to being an American. I'd rather have a green card than have my ethnicity be American on my birth certificate. I'd rather have that. I'd rather go through the struggle of a foreigner. I'd rather have to go through the struggle to get a green card as a foreigner rather than to be considered a born American. Because America right now, dude, it's honestly fucked. I'm really hoping later in my life, I don't live here. At this point right now, if I end up living here for the rest of my life, then fuck, there, I'm hoping there's a lot of change. Because if there is not a whole lot of change in America, I know for a fact, later on in my life, I will not be here. I will not live in America. I'll visit. 
but I will not live here for the rest of my life and raise a family knowing that we will get discriminated, oppressed, and literally hated on, and the potential of my future, you know, my future loved ones being murdered or beaten. I will not want to live that life. I really want to stay in America if, or if I ever do end up living in America for the rest of my life. I'm really hoping there is considerable change as to why I should stay. And I'm not talking about financially. I'm not talking about education wise. I'm literally talking about me being able to be comfortable with my family and loved ones walking the streets and not having to be and literally not being rolled up by somebody with like a gun or knife or like trying to get beaten up out of no reason. I'm so, I feel like so euphoric right now. I'm feeling like there's just stress that has just been lifted off my shoulders because this is a very sensitive topic and being an Asian, it's very it's very it's very frustrating to talk about. So, I <sighs> wow. Feels so good. Oh, it feels so good to talk about this. But um yeah, so well, I've been recording for a really long time, but um yeah, man, like, this is, like, super, super, super frustrating, very irritating, and I'm really hoping that everybody that has watched this can take into consideration of, you know, what's going on and stuff like that. Like, it's it's very painful, it's very brutal, man, and it's something that I don't think anybody, any Asian at least, as of right now, is wanting to face. We've already faced a lot. Every minority group has faced a lot in the past decade or so. I don't think this is appropriate. And, um, yeah. So, I'm just gonna say, you know, thank you guys so much for watching if you watched all the way through. Hopefully, this gives my opinion and my thoughts about Asian hate crimes being an Asian. And, um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you can like the video. You can do all that stuff that I typically say, um, um, you should do but um for a video like this i'm not gonna endorse or anything like that um yeah man there's there's a lot of hate towards asian people and i hope that if you were watching this you're very aware of that and just if you aren't asian be safe and you know we're all here for you and uh, i'm especially here for all the asians that are watching this right now and um yeah so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed hopefully this was informational and um this gets my opinions out of uh, the hate crimes stemming towards Asians. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. Love you all.